Hi, my name is Dominic Guri. I'm a third year PhD student. I work in the Cantor Lab at Carnegie Mellon University. I work on forceful interactions, which is essentially trying to do system identification and estimation during uh, robot object interactions. For the IO trip, my specific focus was developing the mobile platform that became the base platform for all things ground robotics related. Uh, essentially, there were three projects that we came to IOR to test out. Camera in hand, which was basically trying to image things through the robot arm. Uh, sensor insertion, which is uh, trying to use the robot arm to insert a sensor in the constructs. Uh, the third part was grasping uh, for uh, green paper harvesting. So our platform all worked on all three. And then we added the fourth one when it arrived in Iowa and there was a need to use our ground vehicle for 360 uh, augmented reality, virtual reality imaging. At the end, we had four projects that we supported using the mobile platform. So the platform became useful for us to understand what do these target applications look like? We had to understand what the soybean farms look like, what the mung bean farms look like, what other applications do we need to image, and so that going forward we could redesign custom solutions to achieve the specific goals of the IRA project. My name is Abhi Silva. I'm a project scientist here. Uh, I work in George Cantor's lab uh, at the Field Robotics Center at Carnegie Mellon University. Over the last several years, our lab has pioneered the development of active lighting cameras to take consistently lit images in the outdoors, regardless of the outdoor lighting condition. Here are some exemplar images of outdoor tree under a typical daylight conditions on the left and the active lighting image of the same tree on the right. As we can see, uh, active light images are more consistently lit. The newest development consists of a similar camera but a small form factor that can be used with robot arms. Also known as the in-hand camera, it consists of uh, two RGB sensors as a stereo pair and has an active light element at the center. We attach the camera to robotic arm mounted to the Husky mobile uh, platform as a test bed for this project. This video shows the robot platform and the in-hand camera in action, taking multiple stereo images of the soybean plant from different views to capture the entirety of the canopy. Uh, the stereo output can then be turned into point cloud data, uh, combined across many viewpoints using camera intrinsic uh, and the robot extrinsic parameters to digitize plant 3D model that could be used for various robotic tasks such as grasping and sampling or simply for offline AI analytics. My name is Mark Lee. I'm a second year PhD student at Carnegie Mellon University. Uh, for this project, uh, we're collaborating with Iowa State uh, to develop these miniature uh, intelligent sensors. These sensors consist of a nitrogen concentration sensor as well as a transpiration sensor. So the way we're using these right now is humans are going out and manually probing each of these sensors into the plants. And as you can imagine, for a big 100 acre field, uh, it would be a very tedious task. And that's where we come in. We've been uh, developing this actuator mechanism where we can take the sensor, insert it into the plant, and then have the robot automate it for all the plants. So we were successful with this gripper design, and we're really excited to see where we can go for future research directions. We plan to develop the control as well as the perception algorithm to automate the insertion task rather than the teleoperation that we've been using now. Hi, my name is Dominic Bauer, and I'm a fourth year PhD student at Carnegie Mellon University. We developed an approach that allows us to quickly design and fabricate custom robot hands and grippers. This summer, we tested a custom end effector for bell pepper harvesting at the ISU horticulture farm. The design features three independently actuated fingers and a cutting mechanism for cutting the pepper stem. The two critical challenges in bell pepper picking are finding a stable grasp and cutting the stem without damaging the crop. This is especially difficult because bell peppers grow with lots of variations and the thick foliage produces lots of occlusions. Our goal with the first gripper prototype was to identify critical plant characteristics for harvesting. We first tested this by simply operating the gripper with our own hands and placing the cutter manually. Later, we also mounted the gripper to a husky robot with an axe arm to identify challenges that arise when operating a full robotic system in the field. Right now, the robot is still manually controlled with a joystick, so figuring out how to identify crops between the foliage and how to place the gripper and the cutter automatically will be the challenges we work on in the coming year. Hi, I am Winnie. I am a master's student studying robotics at Carnegie Mellon University working in Professor George Cantor's lab on the drone mapping projects. So drones 
can transform agriculture by providing farmers with an efficient way to map and study the environment. Our drone is equipped with a custom payload that includes stereo cameras, a multi-spectral camera, a LiDAR, an IMU, two onboard computers, and a time synchronization board. We collected data at ISU over corn, mung bean, and soybean fields. At each location, we collected dense data at varying altitudes. This will allow us to study whether we can obtain more accurate measurements by combining multiple observations from different elevations and angles. We're currently working on SLAM approaches that can be used to register multiple sensor measurements into a common frame in real time. By registering multiple sensors to generate a multi-layer mapping, we aim to provide a novel way for farmers to understand their field from multiple dimensions. As a future work, we're looking at deep learning-based segmentation and regression approaches so that we can predict phenotypes from the images. Our long-term goal is to make planning online so that we can adaptively spend more time studying areas of interest.